Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 1st, August 1st, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid, okay? Not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Ten of Wands, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords reversed. Now the Queen of Swords reversed is brash, very, very brash. Ten of Wands, This in this deck, this guy is like reached the breaking point, right? Usually in the Ten of Wands, he's carrying the burden. This is like things crashing. This is a crash, okay? This is a, a collapse of some sort. Can't do it anymore, can't do it anymore. Um, looks like we have somebody here that is, uh, it looks like they've reached a breaking point. This is definitely a breaking point. Um, definitely overwhelmed, extremely overwhelmed, distraught. It looks like we have somebody, this is like, I see this like raven here. It's either a raven or a crow. It's like a near-death experience, right? This is like prison almost. It feels like we have somebody here that is in some sort of prison. You know, they have chosen to be here. It looks like there's freedom. There's an uh, there's an opportunity to be free of this, but this is this is uh, rough. It's very 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 rough. It's like. There's loneliness here, there's despair, there's distraught, this is too much, it's a mess, this is very, very messy. This person has a lot of life experience though, there's a lot of life experience here. It's like this person is wasting time doing this when they could be free. There's freedom, there's freedom available, there's no reason to do this. So it feels like somebody is choosing to do something that they don't need to do. Now the Queen of Swords reversed is all about the, the truth, okay? It's all about the truth, but this is, uh, the Queen of Swords reversed is lack of authenticity though in reversed. I'm, I'm trying to figure, what is this Queen of Swords reversed? Let's get another card. Could go either way. What is this Queen of Swords reversed? Page of Wands reverse, bad news, delivering bad news. Somebody's, because she delivers bad news. The Queen of Swords in reverse is, delivers the truth, but it feels like it's a harsh truth. It's brash truth. It's very brash, it's very brash. It cuts like a knife. Bad news, Page of Wands reverse, that's bad news. Somebody is delivering some bad news. It's harsh. It is very harsh. This is a setback. It's no fun. This is absolutely no fun. It's, it's not good news. Somebody is getting some bad news. <laughs> Page of Wands reversed is... Uh, not really interested there's no passion there's no desire there's no growth um boring no fun dishonest there's somebody here that is dishonest as well they're dishonest they're not telling the truth somebody here is not telling the truth Death, death, that is the end, okay? This is, this is a major ending, it is a separation. Death is an ending that leads to a new beginning. 
I feel like we have somebody here. <laughs> There's so many messages in just these cards. We have somebody here that has reached a breaking point with the Ten of Wands. They they, they can't carry this burden anymore. They can't carry this baggage. They've been extremely overwhelmed uh, trying to prove something, trying to hold on to something that they don't need to hold on to. This is a card of change. It is a card of transformation. I feel like we have somebody here that may have delivered some sort of harsh truth, but they're also dealing with somebody that is untrustworthy, that hasn't been telling the truth. I think those are both very accurate messages. Um, this is the end. It is the end. The death is the end. There is some bad news that is coming. There is something that is ending. It is ending with a, an individual that is not being authentic because the Queen of Swords in reverse, it can go either way. It can be some extreme harsh truth. It can also be uh, dishonesty. But I feel like we have one suitor here that is not well suited. Somebody may be not uh, being honest with themselves about who they're with. I don't know. Page of Wands is like a suitor. It could be a suitor. There's no passion. There's no desire. There's no drive. There's no ambition. Uh, something is coming to an end. Death is an ending. It's, it is. It's an ending that leads to a new beginning. Cold, bitter truth is what I just heard. Cold, bitter truth. That's what the, that is what the Queen of Swords uh, delivers in reverse. And that's, that's obviously you saw it just happen. You saw it come to me. Okay, it's the cold, bitter truth. The end, the death, the death is the end. It's the end of something. It's a major life change, transformation, release. Four of Wands, Four of Wands is a card of commitment. Um, foundations, happiness. Something about commitment and happiness here. The end of a commitment? The death next to the Four of Wands. There's going to be an upcoming get-together, upcoming celebration. There, there could actually be a death. I mean, I don't know if there is going to be a death, but there could be. we got somebody here that's growing weary with that Ten of Wands. They've reached a point where they can't, it's like they can't do this anymore. It's time for a new life. It's time. It's time to commit to a new life. There is. I mean, the Four of Wands is commitment. There's a need to accept the truth, be honest. Somebody needs to be honest with themselves. They're going to receive some sort of information that is harsh. It is harsh. Ten of Swords, there's your death. There we, there is the, we do have the death of a situation here. Something is coming to an end. It is. This is definitely painful. It's suffering. This is a collapse. It's either a mental or physical collapse. We have it. This is a breakdown. This is uh, the end, right? This is the end. This is goodbye. It is goodbye. So I, I, it is. We have, we have a major ending here. We have a major ending here. Somebody's going to be... Uh, well, Four of Wands is typically happiness. The end leads to happiness. Okay, death endings lead to uh, happiness, which it's hard to fathom, but it's the truth. Um, okay. Fool reversed, missed opportunity, foolish behavior. Naive, we have somebody, it could be, we have somebody here that has been naive. They've been foolish, fearful, afraid, poor judgment call, stupid. <sighs> I'm sorry. Queen of Swords delivers harsh, cold information. Uh, fool reverse, fool reverse, not very, you know, uh, foolish. We got somebody here that's foolish. Foolish, missing an opportunity, uh, making a poor judgment call. 
fearful, reckless, reckless. Oh. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is solid, stable, secure, hardworking, motherly businesswoman. Uh, she looks like she's got it going on. Okay, it looks like she's she's got it all, right? She's very comfortable. She's secure. She's valuable. She's grounded. This is a mother, okay? This is very uh, set. We got somebody here that is set. Is set very comfortable, secure. Abundant looking at her value she is she's she's holding that it looks like it's like a sword or a wand with a pentacle on the end this person is and she's looking right at that pentacle she's looking at something this queen of pentacles is looking at something she's maybe she's looking at her it's in her hand maybe she's holding on to her value she's holding on to her stability she's holding on to her security she's solid she's stable she's secure she's valuable she's the queen of value hard working this is a business woman she does it all she takes care of the home she takes care of the money she um cooks cleans the whole nine yards this is a homemaker looks like she uh she has something of value she does have something of value very comfortable sitting sitting very in a very comfortable position somebody is sitting in a very comfortable position financially financially stable we have somebody here that is financially stable solid and secure that comes after the death card so there's an ending that leads to a new beginning that is stable solid uh, secure uh real real okay pentacles are real it's something you can touch something you can hold on to something you can take to the bank right somebody has an opportunity okay right in that right in their hand right in their hand but there's a need for change there's a need to be honest and upfront and we have somebody here that I don't know if they haven't been honest and upfront. Maybe they haven't been uh, seeing things clearly. You know, the, uh, there's some sort of need to accept change. Somebody may need to commit themselves to themselves, okay? They've been foolish. They've been naive. Somebody has been foolish and naive. But we have an ending here. We have these two tens that are mirroring each other. Tens are completions. And then we have the death card right in the middle. It goes ten of wands, death, ten of swords. It's like, whoop, just like that. It's like a V almost, you know. That's exactly what it is. Death is in the middle. So that is a major change. Things are going to change. That is the overall energy, okay. Right now, there's going to be a change. There's going to be an ending that leads to a new beginning. This queen of pentacles is holding on to something of value she's she, it is i mean that's a golden opportunity okay that the ace of pentacles is a golden opportunity it's a new investment it's good health it's abundance it's prosperity i feel like she's thinking about who she's because she's holding on to it i'm not sure if she's thinking about who she's going to give it to or what she's or what she's going to do with it what, what am i going to do with this what am i going to do with this there's commitment right on the other side, mirroring the Queen of Pentacles, happiness, foundation, get together, reunion. I don't know if there's gonna be some sort of reunion. Looks like we have somebody here that is going through a new doorway. You know, it looks like they're going through a new doorway. It does. And the Four of Wands is a doorway as well. Somebody is going through a new doorway. Maybe it's the most practical thing to do. The Queen of Pentacles is very practical, very grounded, very realistic. It could be very suddenly, extremely suddenly with the Fool card in reversed. Could be very, very, very. There could be a sudden ending, a sudden. I don't know if it's a sudden. Well, it could be a. It could be a, a sudden death. I'm just being honest with you. Uh, there is some sort of reckless behavior here. There is reckless behavior. Um, but I think we have somebody here that has reached a point where they need, they, need, they need help or they need to relax or they need a new life. They need to 
uh, step out of this prison that they've been in. They, they need to. They need to broaden their horizons. It's time to let go of responsibilities. It's time to release this burden, this baggage, and, you know, have some peace, you know. Anyhow, um, hmm. Ace of Cups reversed. This is emotional shutdown. This is emotional shutdown. This is uh, a loss of love. Could be unrequited love. We may have somebody here that is in an unrequited love situation where there's not a reciprocation of love. You know, it's not love. It's not. Okay? If it's not love, if there's no reciprocation of love, then, you know, perhaps it's time to end because it's right under the death card. So we have an ending here because... There's no love, right? I also feel like there's going to be an emotional ending. It's going to be emotional. There's going to, there could be some tears that are shed. Um, we have somebody here. This is like a fall. There could be a fallout. There could definitely be a fallout. Could be at home. Somebody may decide that they're leaving. You know, death is, could be definitely leaving. Um, Ace of Cups reverse. That's sad. It's sad. Sad. This isn't love. It's not love. It's not love. Queen of Cups reversed. It's definitely not love. So it's definitely not love. So that is uh, emotional upset okay emotions all over the place uh, somebody may be getting some news they may have they may be having a challenging conversation with somebody about love or about you know the foundation or the commitment and they may hear some news that they don't want to hear um, this isn't this isn't love okay it's not love it's not emotionally fulfilling it's not I'm not looking for love I'm not looking for a commitment something like that foolish naive somebody somebody has definitely been naive queen of cups heartbroken sad there is some sort of sadness here deep sadness deep sadness i don't know if there's unrequited there could be a rejection somebody maybe be being rejected Seven of Wands reversed, admitting defeat, admitting defeat, quitting, quitting, stepping down, stepping down from the position. Somebody may be stepping down from a position, admitting, admitting that they can't do this anymore. Right? Giving up the fight, giving up, giving up the battle. I'm not turning around and walking away. Um... There is some sort of heartbreak here. There's also uh, a lack of love. Eight of Pentacles reverse. That is not putting in effort, not working out. We have something. We have a, a commitment that isn't working out. It's right over the Four of Wands. Or somebody isn't putting in much effort. They're not emotionally available. They're emotionally withdrawn. They're not. They're not looking. They're not in love. <laughs> Something isn't working out. Something isn't working out. They're not. Somebody's not putting in effort, which is going to cause an ending. And we have a major ending here. It's a transformation ending that leads to a new beginning. We may have somebody here that is. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, it's like forced change, but I don't have the tower, but death is, is imminent, it's ending, it isn't, it's something, somebody's deciding to go through a new doorway, eight of wands reversed, eight of wands reversed is stopping communication, cutting communication, um, blocking communication, no intimacy, uh, no forward movement, not ready for commitment, not ready for marriage, not ready. Somebody may be here or not ready for the next step, not putting in effort. I'm not interested. Four of 
Four of Swords. We have a lot of death here, okay? I'd say that we have three death cards, so something is definitely coming to the end. This is the end of an idea or a situation, okay? It is. This hurts. It's painful. See the Three of Swords up there? This is a painful separation. There is going to be a separation here. Maybe somebody has... Uh, received some challenging information that changes everything you know the queen of swords delivers challenging information you know she's unforgiving okay this is it's it's about it, it is it's unforgiving We have somebody here that is not willing to move forward. They're not willing to commit. They're not willing to put in effort. They're not uh, emotionally available. Uh, I was just talking about the Queen of Cups reverse, the Ace of Cups reverse, the Eight of Pentacles reverse, and the Eight of Wands reverse. This is somebody that doesn't communicate well. They haven't expressed their feelings. They have, you know. I, I wonder if there's going to be. You know, something is definitely coming to an end. This is exhausted, fed up, tired. Uh, it, this is uh, painful. It is definitely painful. Somebody, Something is coming to a drastic ending. Got that seven of wands again in reversed. So this is admitting defeat. It is, it, it is admitting defeat. This is a fall from power. It's giving up, it's giving up, it's giving up the position, right? Knight of Pentacles reverse. Not interested. Not interested. This is somebody that uh, is irresponsible, doesn't want commitment, doesn't want to put in the effort, doesn't want to work, has no plans of, of moving forward. There could be some jealousy issues. This is dropping out of a situation. There really is, we have somebody here that isn't really qualified for the position. They really don't want the position. They're not. They don't. They don't want the position that they have. It's like, or they, or they're not going to get the position. Lazy. Not interested in putting in any work at all. This is definitely giving up. Giving up. Jeez, third time. We've been, this has been happening a lot. So this is obviously the energy. This is this is giving up the position. Absolutely, somebody is giving up. They're they're stepping down. They are admitting their defeat. They're admitting their defeat. They're no longer going to fight. There could be a fight. There could be an argument. There could be a conversation where somebody is put on the spot, and uh, it causes a massive change. Okay, death is a massive change profound change, a transition. Somebody is transitioning out of one uh, chapter per se right into another one. They are headed towards stability because of that queen of pentacles after not being loved, okay? Or yeah, it looks like there's no love here. Three of Cups reverse, parting ways, parting ways from a third party or a friend or a family member. This is parting ways. We, we have some parting ways here. Somebody is parting ways. They're leaving. There's emotional, there's no emotional, con uh, there's a loss of emotional content. This isn't fun. There's no happiness. There's nothing to celebrate. There's, there's, no happiness there's no happiness here so 
So I do believe that we have somebody here that is, uh, they've reached a breaking point. They've, they have, they have with these tens and the death card and this is the end, it is the end of holding on, holding on to something. Not gonna do it anymore, this is freedom. It is freedom, it's freedom from suffering. Somebody is breaking free from a situation that they have been suffering with. Uh, they're deciding to go through a new door that is uh, probably more stable. Um, there is some sort of heartbreak here. There could be some heartbreaking news that is coming. Parting ways. <sighs> the Emperor. The Emperor. So, uh, you know, this is uh, making a decision. Uh, this is a decision maker. Somebody is making a decision that is best for everybody involved. This is somebody that is in a position of authority that is taking charge. This person is going to be parting ways from somebody that they obviously don't want to deal with the challenges anymore. They don't want because the seven of wands reverse is underneath it. They don't want to. They don't want to deal with these challenges anymore. <laughs> They've been extremely challenged. Seven of wands is all about challenges. There's been a lot of opposition. There has. The only way to change that, and the death card is underneath that seven of wands reverse, and the death card is change that, is to step down and stop fighting change and make a decision based on the facts. You need to be honest with yourself. Do not lie to yourself about the truth and make a decision based on the facts to find happiness. So yeah, there's gonna be a massive change. Somebody's about to take action, they're about to take charge, they're about to uh, take a leadership role and change their uh, life. Good luck.